So you are a developer on Roblox and you're trying to make your own Roblox game. But now you want a leaderboard, you want to display the best people in your game who put in hard work and all that stuff. You want to show them off. So what do you do? You just go to Toolbox of course and then insert this and no! You don't do this! Stop right there! This is not how you make a leaderboard. When you play the game, nothing works from this. In this video, I will be showing you exactly how you can make your own top 3 dancing leaderboard. Just like this one, on screen, right now. I got 15.6 billion dollars, and I'm on the first place. This person has 58 million and is on the second, and Roblox has 50,000 and is on the third place. If you want to know how you can make your own top 3 leaderboard, then make sure you watch this video all the way to the end to find out exactly how to make this, and let's go! So now, newbie, how do we set this system up, this epic cool system, how do we set it up, newbie? Good question, I will be showing you that exactly right now. So first of all, get the model from the link in the description. In the description, there will be a roblox.com link, you can click on it, it's safe, and then you can get the model, which you need to get this system running. So, I assume you all got the model now, proud of you, you're doing good. Now, go to view, go to toolbox, and then go to the four blocks inventory. And then you will see top three leaderboard newbie, just click on it, and then uh, Roblox will load it. There we go. Four scripts, uh, let me just do it again, because my Roblox is a little bit annoying. As you can see, it includes four scripts, um, you can just ignore it, we just need uh, some of them. So now, we got this. You're probably wondering, newbie, why is there a dummy? So the thing is, uh, all these NPCs are going to dance. But in order to make them dance, you need to own the animation. You need to own the animation. Uh, and this dummy has all the animations you need. So if you go to dummy and then anim saves, you will see all of these animations with those little, whatever this icon, the rotated, I don't know, English. Um, but you can get all of these animations um, so if for example if you want to use take the L then just click on save to Roblox right click save to Roblox and then just submit it and then you will get this ID over here so copy that ID and then go to uh, whichever place you want it so uh, top players so we gotta go to top players first so I want number two to do take the L uh, actually no number one because it's cool uh, and then you'll go to one statue and then you will see over here animation and just replace these numbers with the number you just copied enter and that is how to adjust any animations uh, so that is why the dummy is there but if you're not going to use the dummy uh, so if you got all the animations and you're not going to use the dummy anymore just delete it uh, saves some resources now you see server script service and workspace uh, just drag them into what they're meant so top players goes into workspace and server goes into server script service. And now you can delete the top three leaderboard newbie folder. And before we actually start coding it, you need to publish your game first. So you can publish your game by doing Alt P or Option P on Mac. And then over here, you will see Untitled Game. Uh, I'm just gonna name it top three leaderboard, LOL, XD, POG, LOL, whatever. Uh, description, just do whatever you want. Uh, I suggest turning team create off because else your Roblox will reload and it takes a long time. But uh, yeah. Then just click on create. Uh, click on close. Go to game settings at the top. And then go to security. And then uh, enable the second one. Enable studio access to API services. Just enable it and then click save. And now we can get to coding. And now all we have to do now is just to code it. So let's do that right now. If you have any questions or your code doesn't work after you did it all, then please join my Discord server. My trusted helper team and I will gladly help you out and fix your issue. So please join the Discord server if you have any issues. And now let's get to coding. Keep up. Enjoy.
So now we have entered the recap section, and for the people that don't know, the recap section is really just a, a, a look back at what we created. So basically, I will be explaining what the code does so you can learn from it and understand it. When we go to the script, you see local players is equals to game players, game colon get service players. This gets the players service over here. Then we got data store service so we can save data. We got we are getting uh, we are making actually we are making a database so we are making a custom database inside of the data store and we are also getting a leaderboard uh, data store and this is an ordered data store because we are going to order things we're going to sort things with it when the player joins we will be making leader stats and then we will be making money um, after that we are going to get the data of that as you can see local data. We're going to set the data. We're wrapping it in a pcal. So a pcal is basically when the code uh, malfunctions or the code breaks. Uh, the game will still continue um, what it's originated. Uh, the game will still continue what it was going to do. So uh, if this doesn't work, uh, local data would be empty. And then if there's data, then we would set the data. Do you get the point? So if there's data, we're going to set your money to the data. When you leave the game, we are going to set your data to the amount of money you have. And we're going to save this on the normal database. But also on the leaderboard. Uh, because else the leaderboard over here cannot know uh, if there's been any changes in the code. We got a function format. And what this does, for example, if you look at the bottom over here. If I got like 10, 10, I don't know how many this is. Uh, but then the game would sort it to commas every single time. Like this, and I would have like 1 trillion, I believe this is. Uh, but then instead of all those numbers, it would just make it comma, comma, comma. Uh, so that is what the function really does. Uh, so we're um, using the number we give it. As you can see, we're going to give a number. So if it's like a 1,000, then it's going to uh, give a comma on like 1, comma, 0, 0, 0. And then it will return it. That's basically what this does. Coroutine.wrap, so this basically wraps it up and makes it separate from the rest of the code. So you can basically just copy paste this all the way at the top, but don't do that. Just keep it at the bottom. It's a continuous loop that uh, refreshes every 60 seconds. So every 60 seconds, the game will, um, you know, reload the statues, which is what we need because uh, maybe someone gets more money and then you want it. Uh, we're going to make an empty table, local results. We are going to get the data, and then we are going to sort it on the top three. Uh, ascending, we're, we're going to put that to false, so the top goes on the first one, or else it goes from low to high. Now it goes from high to low, which is exactly what we want. Um, so as you can see, over here, we got three. And this basically means uh, that uh, it will return a top three, and you need a minimum of one dollar to be on the leaderboard. We're going to put those results in a table, which is in another table. But don't be confused. These are just the results. Feeder key, two string I, uh, so basically your rank, and then the value. So it is your user ID. As you can see, your user ID, your rank, and then your value. Over here, we are looping through the results that have been made. Local user ID, rank, and value. We're going to get the player name from get name from user ID async. Uh, we can just basically put the user ID in and Roblox will return uh, the, the name of the player, which is really, really good. We're going to find your spot on the uh, leaderboard. And if the spot is there, we will um, uh, make sure the statue gets your avatar. And then we're going to load up an animation. We're going to format the number, the amount of money you have. Uh, because else it just shows a bunch of numbers. But now it will actually show it in commas, which is really, really good for reading. Uh, we're going to set your rank, so hashtag 2 and then newbie derpy dev or hashtag 2, um, I don't know, rule box, you get the point. And then we're going to set your money amount to money and then dollar and then the comma made text. So this is basically what the code does. I hope you learned from it. Now we can test this out. But before we test this out, I want to note that um, when you would test this out right now, nothing would happen. And that is because all of the data stores are empty. All of the data stores have nothing to show. So how do you fix that? Over here at the bottom, you see a running command. Can I make this bigger? I can't. That is unfortunate. Um, but you can go to the description. In the description will be the text you need to put in to get some data in those data stores. 
uh, because I think that's really really good if that happens. So basically, game dot data store service colon get ordered data store leaderboard colon set async, and then you basically want to get your user ID. Uh, you can get that on the profile page if you go to Roblox and then your own profile at the at the top. You'll see a bunch of numbers. That is your user ID. You can put that in. Um, to actually get a result but i'm just going to use roblox's id which is one and i'm going to give roblox some some money uh, and then enter and i hope that set the data i cannot be sure for some reason uh we're going to do no more i'm just going to put in a bunch of numbers i have no idea who this person is if they even exist uh, and then another one nine whatever uh this person gets uh that so now we can safely play the game and then the game will load up everything. Boom. As you can see, 52 billion, 5 million, and 200,000. And as you can see, this person over here, number one, it's a little bit toxic. He's put, he's dancing, take the L. So I, the, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, okay. Anyways, you get the point. So this is how you make a top three leaderboard. And um, I want to note that, and I want to note that if you, if you play the game like normally and you get like you make you make the next jailbreak or something and you make sure uh, people have money and all that stuff, then it will work. Then when when the player leaves, all the data gets saved, so you have no reason to worry. If you have any trouble, join the Discord server down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, then make sure you leave this video with a like. And if you dislike this video, please give it a dislike because honest feedback really helps me out a lot. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on the notification bell, become a member, do anything you want, join my Discord server. All I can say is that my name is Newbie, and I say, peace out.